Hello there and welcome to Colors of India. This week is rather special to us because we complete 50 episodes which means we have crossed the legendary one year mark. On this occasion we have brought for you some engaging stories. Here is a quick look. Strings attached. The cutting edge and a treat fit for the kings. On our show, you have often seen the musical geniuses and dancers bring in their very best. But we also believe that it is important to highlight the works of those behind the scenes. Like for instance, you might not know Nizamuddin Khan even though you're a music enthusiast. But to those who are wedded to the strings of the sitar, it is a name that they take with much reverence. From a narrow lane in Lakshminagar, faintly rises the sweet chime of a sitar and the eyes automatically searches for the origins of this melody. To the locals, Nizamuddin Khan is just another name on the address register. But amongst the talented class of sitarists, he comes highly recommended. For 35 years, his sole work has been crafting sitars. जितने भी आर्टिस्ट हैं आपके बड़े से बड़े छोटे से छोटे सब ने मेरे से काम करा है अल्लाह का शुक्र है कि उसमें कामयाब हुआ मैं और अभी तक चल रहा है काम अब वो बहुत से हैं जो नाम सुन के आते हैं भी निजाम साहब हैं कोई तो उनका भी काम करते हैं वो भी खुश हो के जाते हैं एक बार जो आ गया फिर वो मुरीद हो गया फिर दोबारा कहीं और नहीं जाता Every day, seated thus on a raised platform, surrounded by his chisels and hammers, Nizam works away until that perfect note resonates from the strings of his new creation. Sometimes for months in a row to make a single sitar. पहले डरता था कि भई अच्छा है तो लगाए नहीं तो नहीं अब लोगों ने कहा कि भई आप अपना ले भी लगा करें आपका सितार अच्छा होता है फिर लगाने लगा इससे पहले मैं नहीं लगाता था 27 साल मैंने आकाशवाणी में काम किया मैंने कभी लेबल नहीं लगाया जब उन लोगों ने बोला कि भई अपना लेबल लगा करो तो आज भी शायद मेरे लेबल लगे होंगे आकाशवाणी में निजाम सितार में करके नाम से जितने स्कूल कॉलेज हैं सब में हमारा लेबल लगा हुआ है गंधर्व महाविद्यालय में मेरे घर 35 40 साल से मैं इसमें काम कर रहा हूं वहां सारे इंस्ट्रूमेंट में लेबल लगे हैं The sitar is also not a simple instrument to craft. The wood used is rosemary or shisham, the best of which can only be found in parts of Punjab and Pakistan. Durable German wires make up the strings and camel bones are used for the arth patri and the javari. The pumping or the tumbak, the big round structure at the bottom of the sitar, is made from hollowed out dried wild gourd.
हमारे गुरु जी थे सतीश कुमार जी तो वो जानते थे निज़ाम भाई को तो उन्होंने मिलवाया था कि वहाँ जाओ उनके पास जब से मैं इन्हें कोई जानता हूँ मेरे ख्याल से 20 साल हो गए निज़ाम भाई के इस बात को जब से इन्हीं के पास आते हैं कहीं और नहीं जाते क्योंकि सेटिस्फाई नहीं हो पाते कि कोई अगर किसी और से भी करा लेते हैं तो वो मज़ा नहीं आता जो निज़ाम भाई के हाथ में वहाँ पर History traces this instrument to the 1700s and the end of the Mughal dynasty. Over the years, its value as a solo musical instrument has grown tenfold and large companies have taken to mass producing sitars. Today a brand new sitar sells for a minimum of 60,000 rupees. But here, in this humble workshop, Nizam sticks to the old school rules, lovingly crafting them one at a time. निजाम भाई बहुत संभल नेचर का सितार की कीमत आज बहुत आसमान छू रही है उस दौर में निजाम भाई बहुत महंगा अगर सितार बेचते हैं तो बारह हज़ार का बेचते हैं बहुत ज़्यादा फर्क है तो लोग बाग सिर्फ ये सोचते हैं कि अच्छा निजाम भाई तो हम अपनी मजदूरी बताएंगे या कुछ थोड़ा बार्गेनिंग करेंगे उस कम में देंगे उसी वजह से इन जैसे लोग जो है वो आगे नहीं आ पाते अगर यही उतनी हाइट पे कीमत रख के उतना अपना मिजाज दिखा के लोगों के साथ पेश आएँ और इंस्ट्रूमेंट को सेल करें तो ये भी काफ़ी उन रिच लोगों में आ जाएंगे Fame and money features last in his priority list. Neither that, nor the bored disinterest of each passing generation, has stopped him from following his true calling. A carpenter can create a sitar, but it is only a master like Nizam who can get that shape to sing. Now it is time for us to take a small break on Colors of India. Don't go anywhere because on the other side, we get you another behind the scenes story. Coming up, it's time to dress and a feast so big. Welcome back. Whenever we talk about an engaging dance performance, it is the coming together of music, lyrics, expressions, costumes and movements that we refer to. As part of our series of behind the scenes, we bring you the story of the costume maker. The constant drone of this machine is like music to Kanaiya Lal's ears. It celebrates the dance season. With the capital buzzing with debut performances, dance competitions, monsoon festivals and other events, One can say that there is never a dull moment in his life. For most part of the year, except for the month of May and June, this tiny little tailor shop on the Delhi UP border does brisk business. 
भरतनाट्यम उड़ीसी मोहिनी आटम कुचिपुड़ी टोटल डांस का ही काम है जी सारा मुझे इस लाइन में जी बत्तीस साल हो गए काम करते हुए मैंने स्टार्टिंग करी थी भारतीय कला केंद्र से वहाँ पे हमारे राधेश जी गुरु जी थे उन्हीं से काम सीखा उनके साथ में चार पाँच साल काम करा उसके बाद में फिर मैंने अपना काम चालू कर दिया और अपना काम करते करते धीरे धीरे जैसे काम बढ़ता चला गया तो फिर मैंने अपने दोनों बच्चों को इस लाइन में डाल दिया वो भी सीख रहे हैं इसी काम को वो कर रहे हैं With the revival of classical dance in the early 50s and with women encouraged to dance again the once tightly draped sari underwent a revolutionary change and evolved into a multi-piece easy to wear stitched garment Shastras of dance consider costuming which it is known as aharya abhinay so it's one of the four kinds of expression we have angika vachika aharya and satvik abhinay so i think that it's significant to remember that costumes are given the same uh, spiritual level if you like the stature of satvik abhinay the same stature as angika abhinay dance is all about expressing with your body costuming yourself for dance is also part of the person that artists transformation from a normal person to a patra but basic change to the costume i don't think has happened too much simply because the dance styles themselves have not changed too much they've crystallized and then they've gone on from there but there has been a lot of innovation within the tradition When dance took to international stage, convenience and simplicity became key. But now the trend meter is slowly pointing in the direction of regionalization and localization of fabric. Originally Kuchipudi tradition was male dance form. Males used to perform female roles. Kuchipudi solo form started 1930s, not before. They used to wear uh, wooden uh, ornaments. Previously, we used to uh, buy kanchipuram and stitching dance dresses. Recently, uh, my wife, my dance partner, Vanishri, she started buying other, uh, you know, fabric. she is doing kalamkari work on dance dresses i observed uh, in the hyderabad recently they also started pojampalli uh, mangalagiri you know dharmavaram uh, silk even uh, sometimes they are uh, using uh, cotton The perfect dance costume will cost 1200 rupees and the creation of it is also a numbers game. It is all about the measurements, getting the cuts right, the pleats set to a perfect 16 or the borders attached in an easily detachable manner. जो डांस का कॉस्ट्यूम बनता है वो एक साड़ी से ही बनता है और उस साड़ी इतनी वो होती है कि अगर जो थोड़ी सी भी कटिंग में गलती हो गई या कोई निघस चुक गई तो साड़ी पूरी ख़राब हो जाती है भरतनाट्यम की धोती के अंदर पहले जो पहले डिज़ाइन था वो इतना आसान था जो कि एक साड़ी में पूरा हो जाता था अब जो डिज़ाइन चला है जो पंद्रह प्लेट की धोती बनती है इसके अंदर जरा सी भी गलती हो जाती है तो धोती का पूरा साड़ी ख़राब हो जाती है और कुच्ची पूरी के अंदर भी एक साड़ी होती है उसके अंदर ज़्यादा मेहनत होती है और उसको बनाने के अंदर काफ़ी दिमाग लगाना पड़ता है क्योंकि उसके अंदर जो डिज़ाइन है वो डिज़ाइन हर एक कोई नहीं बना पाता है क्योंकि उसके भी चार पीस बनते हैं पांच पीस ही बनते हैं जो चार पीस की धोती होती है कुच्ची पुड़ी में उसका जो ब्लोज के ऊपर काम होता है उस ब्लोज के अंदर इतनी मेहनत होती है कि उसको हर एक कोई सेट नहीं कर पाता है उसके लिए मास्टर ही अपने आप सेट करके कारीगर को देता है तब जाके वो कारीगर पूरा करते हैं उसको इट इज़ ए स्पेशलाइज करियर पाथ 
and there are times when a new design or a dress innovation has meant that Kanhaiya Lal unlearns everything to reinvent the possibilities of a sari from scratch. And at all times, he has succeeded in doing this well. While I was researching this story, I heard about Ganapati, a master tailor who passed away many years ago. Costumes made by him in the late 70s are still used as references by present day tailors. Now it is time for another break. Don't go anywhere because on the other side, we follow the food trail. Coming up, the owner Sadhya on food trail. Welcome back. The 50th episode of Colours of India coincides with the Onam celebrations and what better way to celebrate than to bring you an Onam treat. Kerala House is where it all starts. Looked upon as the family home that familiarizes every new Malayali with Delhi, Kerala House is home away from home in many ways. And the place comes alive with greater vibrancy and fervor every year during Onam. People of Kerala, irrespective of their standing in society or the religious differences, believe in coming together to depict their happiness and prosperity to their dear King Mahabali during Onam. So the scene at Kerala House is that of fun and gaiety, with of course the special Onam cuisine on offer all day long. And also it has To welcome the visiting king, flower carpets or the pukalam is laid out for a total of 10 days. Apart from this link to the folk tale, Onam is the harvest festival of Kerala, which falls during the Malayali month of Chingam. Kerala House represents uh, Kerala in Delhi, you know, and uh, in all spheres of activities of the state, Kerala is the nerve center. And uh, we have uh, uh, Onam celebrations, we have Kerala Foundation Day celebrations, at least twice a year we have week-long uh, festivals here. Kerala cuisine is, you know, very unique and especially this traditional food. Uh, so this, this is the basic attraction of every Malayali who comes to Delhi. What makes Onam stand out is its food, called the Onam Sadhya. This Sadhya has as many as 24 dishes, an attempt to show the prosperity and grandeur of the region. Ona Sadhya is said to be the most delicious part of Onam. It's said to be the most elaborate and a grand meal prepared by any civilization or culture. And it is mandatory to have on a banana leaf. So I'm going to try and find it out for myself today. Because they say once you relish this dish, you remember it for years to come. Today, 
say you're supposed to start from the left hand side, so I'm going to start with this. Banana chips. Always my favorite. Then they have some pickle also here. Okay, this is jeera pani or hot water. Supposedly you sip it for digestion while you're having a rest of your meal. While we dined together in rows, trying to keep pace with a limitless variety, we were obliged with generous quantities of Kerala red rice served with inji curry, pickle, avial, olan, kalan and sambar along with many other accompaniments. We prefer roast rice. That's raw rice is roast rice. Roast rice is enriched with iron. That is only be used in Kerala. But either parts of the other parts of the country are using white rice. Traditionally, people used to prepare all these things at home. But in an urban living, it's not very easy to prepare so many different dishes and so many different items for a particular day. So we all gather here so that it is prepared in a, in a, in a collective commun community way and we share that thing. So not only that, it's a, an occasion for Malayalis to come together, it is also uh, an occasion to try and enjoy that food which is authentic and which is so elaborate as you would have experienced now. And that wasn't all. The treat had two kinds of paisam for dessert that pampered the palate just right in the end. A meal fit for the kings. Food that elaborate is definitely a fitting finale for this week's episode. You can send in your suggestions and feedbacks onto our Facebook page. I will see you next week. Until then, take good care and bye-bye.